It is a new frontier expanding for all the wrong reasons, with pushy neighbors rushing in. Russia is seeing the Arctic ice melt fast and filling the gap with a military buildup, some of it on North America's doorstep, not seen since the Cold War. Key is a new generation of super weapons like the Poseidon, a 200 kilometer an hour nuclear propelled stealth torpedo. It's designed, say Russian officials, to sneak past western coastal defenses and detonate a 2 megaton warhead, causing a radioactive tsunami to hit North America's east coast with contaminated water. Experts say the weapon is very real. It'll be tested in the summer near Norway, whose intelligence head said it's not only the ecological damage that could be bad. It is in a testing phase. It's a strategic system and it's aimed at targets and has then a, an influence far beyond the region in which they, they test it currently. Some said Russian President Vladimir Putin was fantasizing when he revealed this and other new weapons like the hypersonic Skiron missile in 2018. But continuing development and tests make them very real. Russia is projecting an image that it's developing new technologies uh, and this of course it is destabilizing the strategic balance. They are now starting to develop those capabilities that could reach the United States and its NATO allies. But that's not all Russia is up to. Satellite images revealing the persistent buildup of Russian bases along its northern coastline, part of what a U.S. State Department official called a military challenge. Close to Alaska, at Providenia and Wrangell Island, are two new radar stations. With stationed in Andir, a quick reaction alert force of bombers and jets, West in Kotelny, a thin strip of land has seen over seven years the slow growth of a large airstrip. And in Nagurskoy, the northernmost point is another base that's sprung up since 2014, one of several in the Arctic decorated in the colors of the Russian flag. Nagurskoy and the nearby airfield at Rogachevo are both home to MiG-31 jets, recent arrivals. And further west, at Olenya Guba on the Kola Peninsula, over the past four years, experts believe a storage facility has slowly been built up for the Poseidon torpedo. Russia has had its eye on being the Arctic power for years and is now moving to make that happen. Yes, this is its coastline for sure, but U.S. officials have expressed concerns to me that this buildup is not just about protecting it's also about projecting power across the ice, even towards the North Pole. There are new resources to exploit under the ice, yes, but Russia released this video in January of the first time a freighter got through the ice in the east in the thick winter of January to sell a new trade route along its northern coast. It's a possible moneymaker for the Kremlin, cutting the current journey time from Asia to Europe through the Suez Canal nearly in half. Western officials are voicing concern that Russia is already demanding ships use Russian crews and get permission to cross it. In response to Russia's buildup, the U.S. has sent B-1 bombers to fly out of and Marines to train in Norway. Who gets there first makes the rules, they say, in the rush for a place nobody should want to be conquerable. Hi, I'm Jamie Sturgeon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that story, hit the like button and smash that subscribe button. You can also watch us every night at 7 p.m. on the CHCH Network.